The uh, former Israeli president, Moshe Katsav, has started a seven-year prison sentence for rape. The 66-year-old, who served as president from 2000 to 2007, was also convicted of two counts of sexual harassment. Well, on his way to jail, he denied the charges once again. He told reporters the state of Israel was executing an innocent man. Our correspondent in Jerusalem, Wira Davis, has been giving us the background to the case. This has played out now in the Israeli legal system for, for over a year. In fact, Katsaf was actually convicted uh, over a year ago, but he has uh, gone through the appeal course, and it's only now that he's starting this seven-year prison sentence. On one hand, this is a, a very embarrassing day for Israel, a former head of state, a man who was once the country's youngest minister, uh, being sent to jail on, after being found guilty of rape and sexual harassment. But equally, uh, many Israelis say it's a day their country should be proud of, that uh, uh, a man who had, e even though the, the great and powerful, can be uh, taken to court for serious sexual crimes and, and convicted. Of course, there are many countries in the Middle East where the crime of rape is even acknowledged, uh, l at least alone, that somebody can be convicted of it. So it's, a, it's on one hand an embarrassing day, but also a, a good day for the Israeli legal system. Uh, Katsav, as I say, had often been offered a plea bargain, actually, in which he would not have had to go to jail, but he chose to, to fight his case in the courts. He lost. Um, there were three cases against him, one of rape, two of sexual harassment, and the former president is now beginning this seven-year prison sentence, and we understand that he's also being placed on suicide watch uh, because of, of the state of his mind. That's Wira Davis. Right, Tanya's here now. We're going to have a look at the business.